Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So all right, GPT-5 is here and my take in one line is ops is going to be the future. So just like many of you, I was also excited about GPT-5. I wanted to get my hands dirty with it and it's been less than 24 hours. I have been playing with it. I was using it for my coding. I was using it for deep research. I was also using it for general queries. So what I understand with GPT-5, also from reading the documentation, GPT-5 is the most powerful model from OpenAI when it comes to deep research as well as development. It is so powerful that you can develop such sample applications for your hobby applications with one single prompt. Good news for startups, people who are working on building their MVPs, now you can build such cool applications with just one single prompt. All that you need is OpenAI agent or maybe OpenAI CLI and that's all. You have your hobby application ready. Now being someone who has worked as a developer for 11 years, working at Red Hat, building huge applications, I can tell you this is not a full scale application. It requires a lot to build full scale applications, but at least it's a good start. I mean, where we are heading towards is building applications with less and less effort. Of course, there are complex things like authentication. There are things like handling security. There are things like writing code to handle application at scale. But still going back, this is a very good start. And I see the future models are capable of even doing that. Probably when we are doing this video with GPT-6 or GPT-7, I'm sure they will be able to build applications even with those requirements with one single prompt. So what does that mean? Software engineers are going to be extinct. Are software engineers going to do nothing? No. We have to understand one thing here. Although these models are capable of creating such wonderful applications, but end of the day, to serve these applications to the end users, you need to put these applications on a server. You need to scale this application for the end users. That means you have to containerize it. You have to put this microservice on a Kubernetes cluster. Maybe you have to front face it with the API gateway, load balancer. You have to prevent the DDoS attack. You have to rate limit it with your API server. There is a lot to do with operations or there is a lot to do with DevOps, Cloud, and SRE. I'm only talking about software applications. I'm not talking about models because when we talk about models, it's going to be ML ops or it's going to be LLM ops. But if I focus only with, if I keep my focus only to software applications, there is still a lot to do with DevOps, Cloud, and SRE. But Abhishek, are these models never going to perform the same things that it can do with development? for DevOps, Cloud, and SRE. The thing is that you have to understand the reason why models are getting better is because of the data. Even GPT-5, the reason why it gets better is because the billions of parameters that, is, that it is trained with. There is huge amount of data when it comes to Python, when it comes to Node.js, when it comes to Java. But when you talk about API gateways, when you talk about Kubernetes maybe, when you talk about microservices, when you talk about scaling of the application performance, Argo CD, security with Istio, there is less amount of data. You might find blocks, you might find data, but that is not enough for models to come up with the accurate information. That is not enough for the models to reduce the hallucination. So there is still a long time for these models to get better at DevOps Cloud and SRA. I'm not sure when it is going to happen, but at least for now, software engineers will focus on operations. So soon you will see development of people who are focused on full stack or people who are focused on front end. Very soon you will see they will also start focusing on these kind of activities. So what I would say at this point of time, try to understand how organizations ship the application. Try to understand how DevOps actually works, how cloud actually works how managed services works because personally,
that is going to be the future if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section one final thing that i want to say one more time gpt5 cannot replace developers i don't mean to say gpt5 can build full stack applications today that can ship that can be shipped to the customers but at least it's a good start that we are seeing building such applications has become simple so we can focus on much bigger things as software engineers this is my take let me know in the comment section see you all in the next video take care bye bye everyone